I'm going back over there. Right now, come on, people, come on in. Right now, somebody just threw a nice big rock. There's the rock. What are you doing? Oh, a nice big rock right through my picture window. This happened about two minutes ago. Two minutes ago. Maybe five. Hey. Then they flattened. Yeah. They flattened. This is why, because I have Black Lives Matter in my yard. But let me show you what they did. Okay. They flattened one. This one. They tried, but then this is what they wrote on my my husband's truck. This is what they wrote. This is what I'm dealing with. I live in Warren. Eddie. And that one's flat too, okay? This is what they're telling us, okay? All because this is all racially mo motivated. I knew it was when it happened. I knew it was motivated, racially motivated. They want us out, but we ain't going nowhere. They, they done flatten all my, my husband's tires, okay? Rode on his car. My daughter's upset. They didn't get on this side, but we heard them. My husband heard it. He's got it. He, and this is what we're dealing with. See? This just happened. They just wrote this. They've been out here, you know, I just got home from my sister's house maybe about an hour ago. This is what they're writing on our cars now. See? If they know you're, you're just a Black Lives Matter, I'm just a black female. My neighbor's black, you know, we, they threw a great big rock into my picture window, in my picture window. I am, baby. See that? Yep. They just did that. See the rock right there? I wasn't sitting right there, thank God. Thank God. But let me show you. We have a uh, police, Warren police out here. My husband chased after him. You know it's some white guy in a hoodie. They've taken pictures. My husband is a vet, I'm a vet. But they don't take none of that into consideration. See? But we're the ter terrorists. I just got home from my sister's house. And this is what, I mean, I just parked this car about a, maybe an hour ago. This is what they did. Mm -hmm. Why they flattened all the tires. On both this vehicle, there's two tires flattened. We heard it, but we wasn't sure what it was going on. We have this nice gentleman helping us out. This is what I'm dealing with. Unfortunately, we have a ring on our house. Unfortunately, we were charging the battery. So our neighbors have one. I'm trying to see what theirs look like. But they did Sean's tires? We heard this. We could hear it. So three vehicles and they flattened the tires on uh, three on the truck, two on the BMW, and in my son's car, they I just heard that they flattened his tires too. So, yeah. So not sure what we're going to do now. I'm so tired of this, you know, I, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm at the point now where you know, I've prayed enough. Now I got to get my CCW.
Come on in if you want to, because you will not leave. I'm saying that to everybody. Knock on my door and come on in and try and hurt my family, and you won't make it. You will not make it. Because you, you, you've already, you come to my house unwelcomed. This is, this is, this is crazy. You cannot just enjoy an evening without somebody acting a nut. Now I got a call. I, you know, I'm, we got to, now this is going to cost us more money. This is what they wrote on the truck. Okay. Yeah. Swastikas and all this stuff on here, you know. Flattening tires and stuff. The other day we heard five gunshots. We heard no cars. All the tires are flat. How we gonna get that one too? Yeah. All of them. They flattened the three, two tires on that one, three on this one. Did they get mine? Yep. Your car's flat too. All the cars are flat. In the driveway. I'm not telling them now. I'm gonna be there for my family. I'll tell them tomorrow. And this is what they did to our picture window. And it's all because that sign right there. Because I put it in our window. It's been there for probably about two months now. It's probably been there about two months. But they picked a day, so we have a ring right there, and the ring was being charged. But me and Eddie were sitting in the living room watching TV. Just crazy. Where can you live in America? Where can you live in America? This is what we're facing. This is what we're facing. This is what you have to deal with. It's, now it's knocked on my door. Yeah, I'm praying. But I will be getting that cease. I already have. I've already been to the class. All I got to do is register my weapon. I got my gun. I got, I'm ready. All I got to do is go register it. It's on and popping. So I'm not going no, out looking for no trouble. Yeah, not here. going to look for no trouble. But if they step to me, come on. Come on in. Done with this. Because I got children I have to protect. Tired of this. Enough is enough. Breaking windows and cars and stuff like that. Come on now. I mean, there's a car over there perfectly with their, all of the tires up. But that's a person that's a, that's a Caucasian. And we and her are cool. We're friends right across the street. The Caucasians. Their cars were okay. But we, we're cool. We don't have no problems. Enough is enough. I'm done with this. Tired of it. Tired of it. Not dealing with this any anymore. Tired of it. Now I've got I've got children that are that are afraid. You know. And we know God doesn't give a spirit of fear. And that's what I'm gonna tell them. But let somebody come to your house and throw a rock through that. I mean, this is like the 60s. This is not the 60s. But I can honestly tell you, we have not overcome. We're still, we're still fighting for the same rights that those, they were fighting for in the 60s. The same rights. Tired of it. Tired of it. All we were doing was sitting there and watching TV, regular night. But because I support a movement, a movement, and I put this in my window, but not only do I support that movement, I support the, for the veterans. You see this one? They didn't see that one. We support the veterans. Did they see that one? I support that movement too. But all they saw was that and they brought hate. The devil is a liar. The devil is a lie. I won't have it. I won't have it. Not here. I'll walk this block seven times and I'll bring, 
I know what to do. But I'm done. I'm done with this. You go to writing stuff like this on people's vehicles, you know, after you don't know how to spell, you know, look, you know, learn how to spell first. And these are all different handwritings. It's more than one person. Right. You know, this is the type of stuff. Look, I'm, I'm, I put this out here so you all can see that this is what's happening. This is real. I'm in Warren, Michigan. I'm, I'm, I'm not that far from Detroit. I'm, I'm in Warren. It's here and it's happening. Unbelievable. Flat tires. We have three vehicles and they have flattened the tires Your on. Tires are flat. I know. They, they flat the tires on my husband's BMW, on his truck, my son's truck. Oh, I'm going to be okay. We're going to be okay because we're survivors. We're tie payers. <laughs> you know, we just upset about it. We're going to be okay, though. We got the we got we got Warren out here and they ain't going they ain't joking about it. I told them when they came up, this is all racially motivated. That's all. They can go on with them extra. Yeah, because they wanted to ask my my kids questions about did they have a boyfriend that they was mad at or a girlfriend that was mad. Look, my kids don't even play like that. Don't nobody know our address or where to live. Don't nobody come over here. We, they don't. I don't like. I don't like company. I'm, I'm not. I'm not that person. So. Uh, it wasn't about that. It was about that sign in my window that says Black Lives Matter, about the movement, about me trying to help change some things. And somebody. You live here too or no? No, we don't live here. It's my mom and my stepdad is behind you. Okay, I just don't want to, I don't want to report it. Do you guys have any, any, do you know any problems on Berg? People... No, I, the only people we communicate with is people. Across, no, 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 I'm I not mean, saying you communicate with, like as far as you see and. Like, do you know of any problems around this neighborhood? Yeah, like as far as I'm burned, or the, like um, it's probably like somebody like I would say. This is recording. We heard. We heard. I am. Um, okay. I hold on. I'm. I gotta finish. I. Um, I don't want to use terms and stuff. Yeah. But do you guys see any right, like do you guys know of family right next over here? I'm just saying. On the block yeah, over the there, block. there's a lot of Trump people over there. I know that over there. I know I, we heard five gunshots last night. We didn't know where they were coming from. Our neighbors called us to make sure we were okay. You know, we were on each other. It, it sounded like it was like in our very backyard. It was really close. So they thought it was... When did you guys post the sign? The sign's been up almost two, three months, maybe two months. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it's not recently. It's been as up a long it, time, okay, right? See. It's been up a long time. Okay. So I don't know, but I know that we we don't have any problems with any neighbors. We don't. Okay, so I just say you maybe. Six forty. Six forty three. Stop. That's a good. Well, we got some work to do. Some cleaning up some glass. All right. So you want to use tape or something?